friends uh, today we will see how to uh, um, migrate a database from your uh, in-house sql server to uh, uh, sql server in azure okay uh, so i have connected to my in-house sql server okay i have a database name uh, adventure works uh, dw 2016 lite uh, it's in my in-house server uh, i'm going to migrate this to the Azure uh, SQL Server. Okay, uh, you can see my other videos. First, how to create a SQL Server in Azure and how to allow your client, uh, uh, SQL client man SQL Server Management Studio to connect to Azure. You need to add some firewall settings there in the Azure so that uh, you can connect from uh, SQL Server to uh, client to uh, Azure SQL Server. So, right click on the SQL Server database in your, in your local uh, mm, this one okay and uh, click on uh, task and you see a task called deploy the database to microsoft azure sql uh, database so i'm going to click on that so it's going to bring me a wizard click on next so this is the database that is going to be migrated now it will add for credentials to connect click on connect okay and give the sql server database which is on the cloud so my sql server database which is on the cloud is labs srv1.database.windows.net you can refer me other videos how i created it and it's going to be a sql server authentication give the username and password and click connect okay so now it will get connected click next you can see that uh, the process is started so it will take some time uh, it's going to create uh, multiple uh, schemas everything there and uh, you can see it's extracting the schema it's validating the model uh, matches now it's creating a deployment plant and initializing the deployment so now it's importing the package schema to the database Okay. Once it's done, it will update the database also with the data. So let's wait for the process to complete. Uh, it will take uh, uh, the uh, the entire process will depend on the amount of data you have uh, and the bandwidth speed that you have with uh, Microsoft Azure. But you can see how easy it is. You just right click on the database, go to task, and launch, uh, move it to the server. So it's importing the package schema and the data into the database. So usually. My database size it takes around a couple of minutes. And because of my bandwidth and other things, uh, also under consideration. Disabling the index, disabling the index, importing the data, crossing the table, enabling entries, and it's done. You can see that the operation is successfully completed. So I'll close it. And this is how you uh, migrate your SQL uh, database from your local to Azure platform. So let me open.
open it and uh, see if uh, let me see if I can show you how to whether we can see the database in I'm going to resource group back click on my resource group this is my Azure portal you can see that the database is the adventure works this is the database which we moved from there to here from our local to Azure you can see how it is and it's seamless I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching